Hi, I would like to read to you something from scripture, it's um, Proverbs um, chapter 6, starting with um, verse 20. My son, keep your father's commandment and forsake not the law of your mother. Bind them continually upon your heart and tie them about your neck. When you go, it shall lead you. When you sleep, it shall keep you. And when you awake, it shall talk with you. For the commandment is a lamp, and law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life, to keep you from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of the strange woman. Lust not after her beauty in your heart, neither let her take you with her eyelids. For by means of a harsh woman a man is brought to a piece of bread, and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Can a man take fire in, in his bosom, and his clothes not be burned? Can one go upon hot coals and his feet not burned, not be burned? So he that goes into his neighbor's wife, whosoever touches her shall not be innocent. Men to do, do not despise a thief, if he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold, he shall give all his substance of his house. But whoso commits adultery of a woman lacks understanding, he that does it destroys his own soul. A wound and dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away, for jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore he will not spare it in the day of vengeance, he will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest content, though he give many gifts. Now all this, um, all, all this about adultery is basically leading to what I w w want to talk about is um, ba basically why don't Christians take adultery very seriously because um, cause God takes adultery very seriously I mean in fact God, God has it as um, part, part of the Ten Commandments um, that um, you, you shall not commit adultery I mean, it, is that is that not so important for um, for Christians to heed? I mean, I mean, look, I mean, I mean, look what it says that, um, in in Proverbs um, six twenty six. I mean, for by means of a horse woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread and. Adult, and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. I mean, adult, adulteresses um, and adulterers will, will, will basically seek, seek to destroy people's lives through their um, wanton activities. And, and um, for, for a man who commit, commits adultery with women, for, for, for Proverbs um, 6 32 says, that whoso commits adultery with a woman lacks understanding, he that does it destroys his own soul. A wound of dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. For jealousy is the rage of man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance, he will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest content, though he give many gifts. You can't you can't buy off somebody's um jealousy and rage when he um When he found out that the wife wife has been on um, I mean what what wife has been been um yeah, adulterous affair with somebody and um so this is I mean God take God takes this very seriously, I mean you, you can't um, go go around sleeping with somebody else's um, wife or husband and uh, think you're you're going to get away with it. I mean, there's a there's a whole test um, mentioned in Numbers um, that I brought some time ago. I think uh, when um, woman's caught woman has an adulterous affair with somebody and and um, husband has a spirit of jealousy come upon him and he suspects his wife of um, committing adultery or 
and and um not no, not just when she commits adultery, but she, he may he he may have that spirit of jealousy come come upon him when he suspects his wife doing something and she hasn't been in an affair. I mean. I mean, is is it okay for the husband to be jealous of of his wife? And yes, because that jeal jealousy is basically to um, ba that jealousy is basically there to protect the marriage, and uh, and and if um some somebody gets jealous because um. Wife or husband's been be, been with somebody, then um, then 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 something is um up, and I mean, some something the husband or wife is not confessing to their um their partner in marriage. I just uh, is that is that they they they've been with somebody and um. I mean, we can't we can't avoid not being with people. We just, I mean, we just gotta be careful um, that we that we don't violate our marriage to satisfy our appetites. It's, it's like um, look at Pro Pro Proverbs um, ver six verses um, thirty to thirty one. Um, Men do not despise a thief if he still to satisfy his soul when he's hungry, but if he be found, he who shall restore sevenfold, he shall give all the substance of his house. I mean, there are people who will steal ju just to satisfy their their own soul. I mean, I mean, but um, <laughs> adult. Adultery is ba basically in the um, ba basically steal stealing something that's um, not you not yours to take and um, ba basically has been committed only to the only to that other person um, is I mean it's I don't I don't care if it's to satisfy your soul I mean you're gonna, I mean, I mean, if you need to steal to eat, that's that that's one thing. But if you need to steal to, to just to um, <laughs> just for um, like coveting after some somebody's um, wife or goods, you're you're going to get into trouble, and I. And I don't blame anyone if they uh, <laughs> get. I mean, I mean, I don't blame anyone but the adulterer and the adulteress if they get caught. I mean, I mean, this is this is this is really serious, and we as Christians need to take the matter of. Um, Adultery really seriously. I mean, we we should um, strive to be faithful to 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 the wives and husbands that we that we marry and and, um, and I'll also be faithful to to um, God because um, we we. I mean, it is before God that we pledge our lives before Him, and that we that we should um, love our um, marital partner ab above all things, and be exclusive, just as God wants us to be exclusive to Him, because because He has a right to be jealous. <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to um, say to you in this um, video, so have a good day, 
Emmy, God bless you.